Hey there, it's Isaac from Powered by Rock here to bring Charlie Whittle from the awesome based punk band Break Lights into the spotlight for a few minutes and make him sweat with some on the spot questions. Welcome, Charlie. Are you ready to be put in the spotlight? No, <laughs> but yes. <laughs> All right. So well, this one's pretty basic. So what was the first song or album you heard where you were like, I need to start playing music now? Hmm. Um, I'm going to go with the, a pretty standard one for people my age, and that was Green Day Dookie. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I always, you know, I probably talked to 10 punk bands, maybe more on this podcast. And every time I ask about influences, a vast majority of them are saying Dookie was the thing that got me into yeah. punk music. Yeah, so, no, it, it was a killer album. Yeah, very cool. All right, so then do you have, this is song or uh, question number two, do you have a favorite lyric from a song or one that you can think of, maybe even your own, that you look at and you say, hey, man, that's some pretty good life advice right there? Hmm. Life advice. Or just a quote that you I might really, really like. Uh, there is a song on uh, Jawbreaker 24-Hour Revenge Therapy. Ooh. I'm going blank, but there is a song on that album that really speaks to me. I think it's uh, and it's something that I kind of, uh, when I, I wrote a song recently, man, you're putting me on the spot. I guess that's <laughs> the whole, on, that's the whole the name spotlight. of the thing, right? <laughs> I wrote a song good. recently and I kind of made an ode to a lyric in this song. I want to say it's probably uh, Jinx Removing, I believe, is the song. Gotcha. And there's a lyric about, um, I have a picture of you. It was raining, blah, blah, blah. I can't think of the whole line right now, but that yeah. that's the song. And that's the, there's a line in there that's, that would be my answer if I had it in front of me. <laughs> so the, the, <laughs> The song, basically the band Jawbreaker, but there is a song that you have a lyric that you have written a, another kind of connection yeah. with in your own music too. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Nice. It's pretty tough to remember lyrics, especially, I don't even remember my own lyrics. So it's tough to remember other lyrics, but you know, anything like yeah. where it sticks out, you're like, it's more than just like, you know, long view by Green Day. They're talking about masturbation. It's like, well, that one I can remember, but that's not exactly what I consider life advice. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure when we're done, I'll be like, oh, shit, I should have talked about this. Yeah, But it's probably always going to be some Blake Schwarzenbach lyric. <laughs> nice. Very cool. So you're uh, obviously from Austin. Have you been, are you born and raised there? Or you've been there for a long time? I've been here for uh, 13 years now. Okay. Um, I was yeah. born down in Beaumont, Texas, so southeast Texas, down on the Louisiana border. Gotcha. So yeah. you probably know, regardless of, 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 what part, you know, maybe even from the Louisiana side, you have some Creole food there, but Austin's pretty well known for barbecue and tacos. So which one do you think is better? The barbecue or the tacos? Oh, definitely tacos. I'm not, I'm not a barbecue fan. Okay. So <laughs> yeah. now, why does everybody in Austin think their tacos are so good? I don't know, but you know, like before where I came from, um, just one observation, we, I had never heard of a breakfast taco before I moved here when I, or I'm from where they were breakfast burritos. Yeah. And then I came to Austin. They're like, you want a taco? And I was like, like a crunchy shell taco for breakfast. That sounds weird. <laughs> they're like, no, a breakfast taco. And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about, but uh, I think, yeah, maybe the breakfast tacos here are, are the best. I don't know, but mm -hmm. I, yeah, I'm a, I'm a huge taco fan and, and yeah. Mexican food both. fan. So, so like, I go to Austin and I'm like, all I'm going to eat is tacos and barbecue while I'm here. But I'm going to get sick of barbecue after one giant meal of that. Cause I'm going to be stuck yeah. for like three days of it. But yeah, I mean, it's funny. Cause like, you know, there's people like, you know, you go to San Diego, they're like, Oh, we got the best birria tacos, the best certain, you know, Tijuana special tacos from over here. And then you go mm -hmm. to Austin and like, we have the best tacos. And I'm like, well, what kind of tacos are you know for? And they're like all of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like well, yeah. Every kind of taco. <laughs> <laughs> lots, lots all of right. good restaurants here. Yeah. For sure. Lots of good restaurants of that. Also, usually allow music to be played, which is a very cool s setting for, yeah. you know, Austin. So it's a lot of fun to go there, especially is it Pearl Street, I think, that kind of area right there where it's got all the hipster stuff with the uh, bars and the restaurants. Is that Pearl Street? Um, so there's Rainy Street. Rainy Street. And there's That's the one I'm thinking Sixth of. Sixth Street, yeah. yeah. Rainy Street, um, yeah. Rainy's yeah, probably what you're thinking of, yeah. Yeah, Sixth Street's like the, the, the drunken mess one, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rainy, <laughs> Rainy's the one I was thinking of. Yeah, that's the one. That one's pretty cool. Yeah. 
So you guys, Brake Lights is about six years old now. What do you see another uh, six years down the road? Are you guys just going to quit and be like, this is done? <laughs> um, I hope not. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I, you know, six years is a long time. So much happens in that amount of time. So I hope not. I would, even if we're maybe not doing as much, I would love to still say that we're a band, even if we're yeah. only playing once a year and that's it. But um, yeah. I kind of want to like, never just say we're broken up that's it you know i just kind of want to if we fade away we fade away but i don't want to like put a cap on it like that yeah so i I hope we're still playing one of my favorite punk bands is bracket and they stopped basically touring 15 years Mm -hmm. ago (laughs) like we still make music we just don't tour for it at all yeah i play two shows a a year to promote it and that's about it yeah yeah they're a great band i love i love that man yeah all right Here's the really tough question for you. I kind of prefaced Uh-oh. this before we started, but <laughs> imagine that there are advanced life forms in the universe that also play string instruments like we do. What crazy technique do you think they would have invented that would blow your mind upon them playing a bass or guitar in front of you? Crazy technique. Huh. <laughs> Maybe they're like crustaceans. <laughs> I'm a big I'm a big sci-fi fan, so maybe they're like crustaceous aliens and they do the crab walk guitar thing have you seen that (laughs) have you seen the crab walk (laughs) i think those like they're like metal bands do it now where they kind of like yeah um, so yeah that's my answer yeah so i was i was thinking about when i wrote it i was like what does this even mean i was like well you know what i didn't think about it when i wrote it but maybe they have extra limbs and they have like six hands that they could play guitar with and that would fucking blow my mind but yeah um yeah, that would just be like <laughs> the crab walk. That's a good answer. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all I got for you. I want to thank you so much for stepping in the spotlight, Charlie, and answering these hot seat questions. Hopefully, I didn't break your brain or anything and make you sweat too much. But, uh, guys, yeah. if you want to go check out Break Light's new music, it's Wind Down. It's right behind me there on the wall. Uh, you can go right to the show notes below this episode and check out all the music and all the videos that they have and go, you know, obviously watch our full interview, which was our podcast episode as well. Until we see you for the next episode, guys, rock on.